Okay, so this is a brand new Tiny Hawk 2 flight controller that I just purchased from uh, Race Day Quads, Emacs controller. So I'm going to plug the USB port in. Okay, everything appears to be okay. I can connect. Looks like we've got Try calibrating, see if that does anything. Well, okay, so we're calibrated, it, everything looks fine, looks like it's working okay. <clears throat> we'll disconnect. Let's go update firmware. Now, uh, your tech support people said it's the Maytech 411RX. Okay, usually do full chip erase. We'll go down to load firmware local. This is the firmware that um, I downloaded off the website that I was told to. So we'll download that. Okay, and then we will flash firmware. I'll show you what happens. Nothing. So it doesn't want to go into bootloader mode and it just shuts off the flight controller. Okay, I'll show you another little experiment. So we'll plug it back in again. Seems to come back up just fine. We'll connect. Let's go to the CLI and let's type in BL to go into bootloader. And again, it fails to go into bootloader mode. This is with both of the flight controllers I just purchased from Race Day Quads. So I don't know if there's an issue or if I'm doing something wrong, but uh, I could really use your help because I was in this uh, international game of whoops competition, iGal. And unfortunately, I'm going to be out because of uh, equipment failures. Anyway, I appreciate your help. Okay. Where's the book? Okay, so I'm also going to show you another thing I tried using the, the boot button. So, again... I plug in the flight controller normally. It seems to light up. Everything seems to be working just fine, right? Okay, we're good so far. Now I'm going to hold down the boot button. Let's just get this all positioned here. Okay, I'm holding down the boot button, pushing in the, the USB cable, and I get nothing. None of the lights come on or anything. Okay? So I've tried several ways to get this into bootloader mode and neither of the boards are working. Mm -hmm.